Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Sengupta and you're watching Electric Vehicles. In this video, we'll talk about mopeds. Now, mopeds were very popular once upon a time, but then with time, their popularity started to decline. That might just change because uh, there are two new electric mopeds making their way into the Indian market. I'm talking about the Graveton Quanta and Boom Motors Corbett. But then this, in this video, we'll not talk specifically about these models, but the entire concept, the design of a moped itself. What are the advantages that it brings? What are the disadvantages? Probably one or two is what I can uh, list. And whether a moped is good for you, all of these things you will come to know from this video. And uh, if you happen to like it, then please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you might share it with your friends as well. Now, before we start this video, here's a good news for the aspiring engineers. If you're studying in electrical engineering or mechanical engineering, then Unacademy has launched a course specifically for you. They're calling this course as the core engineering course, and that is exactly what this course intends to do. There will be top professionals working in top companies in your field. Companies like Yamaha, Mercedes-Benz, Tata Motors, Tesla, Bosch, and Ather who will be sharing their experience, knowledge, and guidance exclusively to you in this course. Now, the best part about this is before you join this course, before you enroll for this, you can join a special class where these same professionals will be giving you a brief idea about this course and will tell you how to chalk out your career. And the best part of this deal is that this special class is free of cost. You attend your class and then you can decide whether you want to go ahead with the course or not. Every detail of it will be in the description, so make sure to check that out. So some of the reasons of the popularity of a moped could be because they are very lightweight. Number two, they are very utilitarian, you can carry load. And number three, they have a very simple design, thus requiring the least of maintenance. And some of the old mopeds, they also came with pedals, so that when you run out of petrol, you don't have to drag your vehicle with you, you could pedal and reach home or a petrol pump. In fact, a moped very cleverly acts as a bridge between a scooter and a motorcycle. It cherry picks the good parts from a scooter, from a motorcycle, and imbibes it in itself. What are the good things about a motorcycle, if, you, if I were to tell you? Number one, it has good, good suspensions and it has a large tire, which means even driving on a bad roads, you will be more comfortable, more secure on a motorcycle as compared to the scooter. What the moped does, it picks these two. Good suspensions, I'll take it. Bigger tires, I'll take it. Then it looks at the scooter and says, okay, what have you got? What are the good things about a scooter, you ask? Two good things about a scooter is, well, it has got a large boot space. You can accommodate things in it. You can also put them in front of you in the floorboard. All right, the moped takes that. Second thing uh, that is good about a scooter is if you have a scooter at home, most members of your family can drive it. Whether it's a male or a female, it doesn't matter. It's a unisex thing. The moped takes that as well. It combines all of it and it gives you a vehicle, which we know as this moped. But then the design has certainly not stood the test of time. It has started to look outdated. There is a reason why we don't see a moped much in the cities, but then they're still very popular in the villages. But with the advent of these two electric mopeds, Quanta and Corbett, things might change. I've already listed all these plus points of a moped. If they appeal to you, then a moped might be something you would consider. But then other than that, I will also list two more advantages of a moped. Number one, the, the, the Quanta and the Corbett, they have a simple design, which they call either the exoskeletal chassis or the ribcage chassis, whatever they call it, whatever name they call it. This brings a lot of simplicity, less maintenance, and most importantly, it brings a lot of rigidity, ruggedness, and strength to the vehicle. We all know what the Quanta was able to establish just a few days back, more on it later. Second thing is the price factor. For the same battery capacity, you would be hard pressed to find a motorcycle or even a scooter that has uh, as much of a build quality as a moped does and is available for even a near about price range. Three kilowatt hour is the battery pack that a Quanta comes with and it, it, it's impossible to find a motorcycle with that much of capacity within a one lakh rupee range. Even, even for scooters, we did have Ola S1, but then now because it's, it's not making profit for them and hence they have sh shut it down. All the future bookings will only be for S1 Pro. So it is difficult to get a, a scooter or a motorcycle at the price point in which you get a moped. So these are the reasons that appeal to me personally. And there is a reason why I booked a Graveton Quanta. Now, of course, I paid only 500 rupees, the, which is the booking amount. And the ex showroom price is 90,000 rupees. I will be paying the rest of the amount only after I take a test ride and only after I have gone through the reviews posted by other people. If I am convinced that the Grafton Quanta delivers what it promises, then there is no reason to stop me. 
Now, before I explain to you the last final reason why the Gafton Quanta appealed to me even more than the obvious reasons that I just told you, I will first have to explain a point to you, which is that when you are in the market looking to buy a vehicle, the first question that you should ask is, okay, which is a good vehicle? Of course. But the second reason is, which is a good vehicle for you? To give you an example, Hero Electric, there, there is a section of the society to whom I would recommend a Hero Electric, but then there are a lot of many people to whom I will never recommend a Hero Electric. Similarly, let's talk about Ether 450X. There are people whom I would recommend. There are people whom I would not recommend a 450X. It just depends on what is your requirement. So my requirement is a very specific one other than these that I have listed already. I have a second home on top of a hill. And there are no roads connecting to that place, to my place. It's a, it's a mud road. So my requirement, uh, it, the specific requirement is the vehicle should have enough torque to climb a hill, to scale a hill. And the second thing is it should have good grips. Good grip. The tire should have good grip. I should feel comfortable uh, even on the mud roads. Now, of course, there are scooters and motorcycles which can do that. But then when I'm looking for comfort and uh, bigger tires, I will eliminate scooters. So right off the bat, I have eliminated scooters from my consideration list. What I'm left with are motorcycles and mopeds. Now, moped will also carry load for me and do everything I want it to do for 90,000 rupees. Can a motorcycle do that? No, not yet. And there is a reason why I booked a moped. Now, what do you think? Have any of you, any one of you, if you have booked a moped or are considering to book a moped, please let us know your thought process in the comment section. Any of you have driven a moped? What do you think about this entire design? What do you think of this video? Please let us know in the comment section. Share it with your friends and family so that they can decide before they buy their own vehicle. And uh, subscribe to this channel so we meet again. Go green, go electric.